some people, listeners, might be surprised to hear that you uh, have known uh, or have had battles with John Fisher's dad. Uh, Chris, you're actually a former uh, San Francisco uh, County and city and county supervisor. So so you 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 know, you've uh, you've you've been around in Bay Area politics. I was going to say, you know, you're in Nevada yeah. now. I was going to see if you knew the Fishers, yeah, or like ran into Yeah, yeah that, that's correct. So uh, I, I represented District 6 on the San Francisco Board of Supervisors for 10 years. Uh, district 6, uh, you know, kind of a, a, a interesting district, includes, you know, uh, Giants Ballpark, uh, includes the Gap uh, World Headquarters uh, up uh, in that area. Also includes like the Tenderloin and 6th Street and you know, 16th Street in the North Mission, which is how I, you know, where I got my votes uh, and how I won. But <clears throat> yeah, I used to battle with with John Fisher a good bit. Uh, and he probably, uh, I'm not John Fisher. Uh, I only met him once, I think. Um, I used to battle Don Fisher. Um, and he probably was the biggest political spender against me um, in, in my 10 years in San Francisco. He probably dropped a million or, or something like that over, over my tenure. Uh, to try and unseat me, they you know uh, term limits got me. So now now I work in Nevada. Well, I was going to say cool. can, we were talking offline. So you so you actually live in California still, but you commute out to Las Vegas. Could you explain how you got in, involved with the Nevada State Nevada State Education Association? And then could you also explain to our listeners the difference between that organization and schools over stadiums and how they're related but separate as well? Yeah, I mean. How I ended up in Nevada is probably not the most important thing. Um, I do politics and I don't get along with the governor in California. Um, so we used to sit <laughs> next to each other um, and I used to be a baseball catcher. So I used to, I used to chat him up during board meetings. <laughs> yeah. But you're going to vote for this piece of shit, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, so. I, who, you know, who else do we got to vote for? But yeah. Um, no, 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 Listen, not, no, no. I, I used know, to say to I used to say to Gavin in no. in, in, in board meetings. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, like, you, you would know, say that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I said all sorts of things to him. Apparently. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, but uh, I had a, I had a coworker. I, I worked at SEIU Local Ten to One, uh, which is a, a union in Northern California. Uh, after uh, my term in office. Uh, and a colleague of mine who I worked with there ended up being the executive director uh, at the Nevada State Education Association. And the Nevada State Education Association, uh, we are like a sister organization of the California Teachers Association. Mm -hmm. So we are the state education associations affiliated with the National Education Association, which is the largest union in the country, representing, uh, I think, about three million educators uh, in the country. Uh, Nevada is a relatively small state, certainly compared to, to to California. Um, so we're, we're a pluckier uh, kind of organization uh, in Nevada. Um, but I would say, oh, your other question, uh, schools over stadiums. Uh -huh. uh, we just formed schools over stadiums in response, uh, to be honest with you, uh, to calls from A's fans uh, <laughs> for people in Nevada to keep up the fight, right? Like, uh, as, this, you know, as the State Education Association, you know, we've been trying to get more resources for Nevada schools forever. I mean, probably uh, close to 125 years of our existence. We've been probably uh, arguing uh, across all of those years, you know, to, to get more resources into schools. Um, Nevada ranks 48th in the country in per pupil funding. We have the largest class sizes uh, in the country. We have the worst uh, crisis in terms of teacher vacancies. Uh, uh, in the country, thousands and thousands uh, of, of teacher vacancies in the middle of the school year um, in Nevada in, in a relatively small state. So, um, you know, when these stupid proposals show up at the legislature, and it's not just Nevada, it's everywhere, like, you know, a film tax credit or a giveaway to Tesla to build their, you know, giga factory outside of Reno or, you know, the A's stadium. But we oppose all of these things, right? And we often lose, right? We oppose Elon Musk's, you know, big giveaway, the big giveaway to Elon Musk. Um, but there wasn't a groundswell, like an organizing thing that was happening at the same time. 
um, at least that was before, you know, Elon got, you know, uh, a hold of Twitter and, right. and all that. But yeah. <clears throat> so when we lost on the Tesla tax breaks, you know, we just kind of went home, right? Um, yep. We lost, it was over. Um, but when we lost on SB1, <clears throat> it was different. Um, uh, members of ours had met kind of ace fans on on Twitter and on the phone lines calling in. <clears throat> I like to tell the story of uh, a local leader that we have in Las Vegas. She's a reading specialist in, in elementary schools in Las Vegas. Uh, she was on the phone lines and she had a donor's choose list, which is basically like um, uh, a kind of a GoFundMe like for, for teachers. Um, so she had a donor's choose list and apparently like an Oakland fan found it and cleared it, bought everything on her list. And she's texting me. She's, we're both on hold, like waiting to give public comment. And she's like, you'll never believe like what happened. Like my donor's choose list, all my, like my, my library, all the books that I wanted, like they bought it all. And it's like somebody from, it wasn't Oakland. I, don't, I forget where they're from. It might have been, Alex, it been Lafayette. Like, yeah, yeah. somebody from such and such town in California, like I've never heard of them. They usually like your, your, your mom or dad or your sister, or your cousin or a friend from college or something goes on and, you know, they've got a little more money and you're a teacher. And so they'll buy some stuff for your classroom. This was like a just random strangers. And that happened several times. Uh, and so our members were like, well, this is like yeah. something that is a little bit more kind of like solidarity mm -hmm. than what you usually see when kind of kind of different interests come together. So there has been this relationship that was forged in those terrible, you know, hearings uh, on these terrible bills in the Nevada state legislature that kind of got a life of its own. So, and, and then on the referendum, because we started out uh, talking about the referendum, the, the reason why, you know, we started schools over stadiums was to pursue the referendum, right? But normally we wouldn't do that. But I had A's fans on like my Twitter, like tagging me, like uh, linking uh, the section of the Nevada state constitution uh, <laughs> on how to do a referendum. And I'm like, I'm, you know, I've read the Nevada state constitution. It's kind of like my day job. Um, I'm familiar with this. You're in Oakland. Uh, I'm not sure why you're telling me how to. Well, this is what sports uh, fans do. You know, we watch the I'm TV. Sure we're like, like, Oh, I could do this better. Oh, I referendum. <laughs> yeah, I can do this better. Yeah, I mean, it's very rarely guy. done, but I'm, I'm, I'm vaguely familiar yeah. I know how to look up the Constitution. It's, it's but, armchair coaching for politics. That's what it is. It's the same yeah. thing, you know. <laughs> but, 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 you know, we lost. Like, we went home. I'm meeting with my colleagues. And I'm like, these Oakland fans are still, like, calling on us to, like, do this. I mean, should we do this? And we basically decided, why not? Like if if they're if they're energized and they want to go down this path, and we sure could use that three hundred eighty million dollars in Nevada classrooms, let's let's keep going and see and see whether we can win this thing. 